Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlie, and I'm here with another video, and I'm recording Star Wars The Force of I mean, <laughs> just remember that J.J. Abrams is directing this again. Just made me say that. But um, the problem with Star Wars 8, because I'm hoping Star Wars 9 does a good job, The Rise of Skywalker, J.J. Abrams, he's back. I hope that I hope that he does a good job because with Force Awakens, I felt like he did a j good job personally. If you ask me how I felt about J.J. Abrams' uh, version of Star Wars, I honestly felt like it was great. I feel like it was a good addition to what was our, what already came before. The problem was that it just rested too much on nostalgia and past plot points that had already been used before in Star Wars. But it still captured the magic of what Star Wars is supposed to be. So that's why I don't have really a problem with Star Wars Force Awakens. Star Wars 8, Ryan Johnson's Star Wars 8 just felt like it was all over the place. Thematically, the way they did, um, the way they did uh, Luke Skywalker, like it was just, I can't believe they did him that way. And it was so sad. So, anyways... Let's get into it. I hope this trailer is as good as I want it to be. Here we go. Okay. We've passed on all we know. Luke Skywalker. That's Luke Skywalker talking. A thousand generations live in you now. Alright. I'm liking it so far. But this is so, I do like that they went kind of back to that desert-ish kind of thing. Because I could have just left that alone, but I'm glad they brought it back. Terrified. Every generation has a legend. Okay. It's looking good, guys. I, I, I gotta admit, it's looking, you know, it's got me geeked out. Come on, it's gotta get, come on. Do me dirt, don't do me dirty. Please, trailer. Do me right. Wait, they play Leah's theme, bro. They play Leah's theme. They already brings that magic. You feel me? Keep. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I got. It. Hold on. That's Palpatine. That's the Emperor. That's the Emperor. What? Okay. I'm on board. They brought back the Emperor. Brought back Leah's theme. The Rise of Skywalker. So this gets me in a lot of questions. Maybe Rise of Skywalker after all? Or... I don't know. This is so weird. Maybe imp the Emperor like converts her to the dark side or something. I don't know. And we find out she's a Skywalker and she ends up I don't know what's gonna happen. This is so weird. And it's got the blue like text. I'm excited. I will say I'm excited for the movie, period, point blank. I like it. I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna be alright. That's the only way they can save it is if they either bring her to the dark side or they, I, I don't know, there's only two ways to save it, or they reveal that she's a Skywalker somehow, um, even though uh, in episode 8, dude told her something else, 
you know, Kylo Ren told her, told him, told her something completely different. I'm excited now. It's got me, I just hope it answers a lot of the questions that we had for episode 8 and 7. Um, I think it, I'm going to give it a chance because J.J. Abrams is back on board and he's made some good films nonetheless. Anyways, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and peace.